everybody miss Charlie here and what I'm going to be doing here is um, I had a request to do a polish collection so I have a lot of polishes a lot so instead of doing one long video of the polishes I'm gonna do them uh, one per week so um, every week until I'm done I will do um, polishes in my collection and I'm starting with those that I don't have a lot of so I'm gonna work my way up to the ones that I do have quite a few and then I'll just break those down into brands so that they're not so long so with this is video number one of my polish collection and I hope you enjoy if you have any questions feel free to ask um, just leave me a comment below but we're gonna start with again the ones that I don't have a lot of and then work our way to the ones that I have quite a few of. So we're gonna start with these four colors here. These are nabby colors. I'm sorry, one, was it? One, two, three, I'm sorry, five colors. One, two, three, four, five. These five colors here, these are nabby colors. This one is the metallic silver. It's this one here. And the nabby colors are very pigmented and very thick and they do stain so if you do use these use them over another color even if you put on base coat even a couple things of base coat these can still stain your nails so please use these over another color um, but here's the metallic silver which is this one here and then this one here is the Sorry about the bottle, I had a mishap. <laughs> um, one of my polishes broke and it went all over some other ones. This is the metallic gold, and it's a very pretty, very bright gold. And these are, these are one coat for these. And then the next one, this really pretty green, this one is called metallic punky and it's a pretty green it reflects of silver very nice it's like a green gold and then these last two they are matte as you can see they don't have any shine this one is called neon blue and it's a pretty creamy blue it's not really neon it's just more like a blue it's more of a blue like a teal but it's not, it's not really neon and you can see it's matte and then this one here this one is called baby pink matte and it is a pretty pink but again it is matte so those are the nabby colors that I have and all of these will be listed below the names the next two we're gonna do are these two right here and these are from uh, finger paints and these you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply and the first one here this one is called Merry Mistletoe part of their Christmas collection for finger paints and it reflects of silver and it's very thin as you can see that's one coat it's very thin you're gonna need to build that up but it does have a little sparkle to it so you'd have to put on at least two maybe three coats to build this up to the actual color in the bottle and this one does stain too I found that it did stain my nails so this one is called Mary Mistletoe the next one is a very pretty chocolate brown with reflex 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 of silver and this one is called Artist's Inspiration. And this is one coat and it is sheer. So you probably need two coats to build that up. But this is a really pretty chocolate brown from Finger Paints. And the next two we're going to do are these two here. And these are from the Confetti. These I got at CVS. And this is a really pretty green and you can see it is thin it's a froggy green with reflex of gold and this is called my favorite Martian and you will need at least three to four coats to get it up to probably more to get it up to the 
color of what's in the bottle. And then the next one is called, this is a really pretty burgundy, burgundy brown with reflects of gold. It's really, really pretty and dark. This is great for fall. This is called Masquerade Ball. And you can see it there. And that is one coat and it covers really nicely. You might need another coat over it, but it covers really nicely and it's a really pretty burgundy like a blood color it's really pretty so those are the confetti ones the next two we're going to do are these two here and these are from Setch a lot of people might not know that they have um, nail polishes and this is from Setch the makers of Setch Vite and this is a very nice like a steel gray dark black gray color this is called nouveau and that is right here this one it's really dark it almost looks black but it's gray and then this really dark pretty blue you can see that it's really dark pretty blue this is called hypnotic and again these are from Sitch and these are two coats each they do go pretty good on in one coat but you will need two and then we're gonna go to these four these four um, these four this one this one this one and this one we're gonna go to those and these are the station polishes and we're going to start with this one which is called sheer legs and this is a nice french manicure or for those who don't like to wear nail polish and and when you do you don't want something that's really you know brassy or loud you want something very subtle this is the polish for you and you can see there it's very natural and neutral that's it right here very nice and neutral and this one is called sheer legs the next one is this pretty teal the satin teal it's very nice this is called miss McTeal and this is two coats and you will need at least three so this one is miss McTeal the next one is this dark blue it's a dark creamy blue it's just a cream it has no reflex it's a flat color and it may look black but you can see around the edge here that it is blue and it's kind of a darker version of this if you took this and a blue and a dark blue mixed it together this is what you would get and this is called Rockaboy Blue. Very dark blue. And then the last station is this pretty coral red, which is called uh, Front Row Flasher. And it's a really nice red coral. It's got more red than orange, which I like because that makes it cooler. It's not as orange and that's this one and then these here let me see where I am here these two here would be the last two oh, nope got one more and these are the savvy polishes and I got these I got this one I believe at Kroger's in their reduced pile and then I got another one so I have two of them this one's called champagne and this one makes a very nice French manicure. I have used it in some of my videos. Some of these other polishes I have too. Um, but it makes a very nice French manicure. It reflects of pink. You can see that there. See on the bottom it's more of a gold and then it reflects pink at the top. This is very nice for a French manicure or for somebody who just wants, you know, a very nice natural color and that's it right here can hardly see it at all and then the next one this one here 
is also a savvy polish and this one is called um, purple shock and it's very oops very purple very like a fuchsia it's very thin these uh, nail polishes are very thin and you will need quite a lot of coats and this one is two coats and you'll need quite a lot and you can see right through that they're very watery and again it was reduced so those are my savvy polishes and then the last one is this L'Oreal I only had one I don't remember when I got it this is the shockproof I don't even think they make these and this is the old packaging as you can see this is the old packaging and it's called shockproof and it's like a mauve and it's called plum mystique and it's a really pretty like mauve and it is a little bit of a matte it's not shiny but there's my L'Oreal so those are f a few of the polishes that I have the ones that I don't have as many of so I will be doing again more every week and then as we get to the ones that I have more of I will do one video per brand like my China glazes my um, Zoya's um, my Orly's I will do those all in one thing instead of having it being so long so if you again if you have any questions please let me know I'll be glad to answer them um, if there's any polishes that you'd like to see I'll be glad to try and get them um, if there's any designs you would like to see please let me know and I'll do my best to fulfill your request and I want you to have a good day and thank you for watching thanks for all thanks to all of my subscribers I appreciate you very much for sharing me and getting me out there and um, I love the wonderful comments I just I, those are they'll just make my day it makes me feel like I'm doing something right when I see wonderful comments and I want to thank those for leave thank you for leaving those and they you know who you are um, so please any feedback I will be more than happy to address any feedback negative or positive any negative criticism please make sure it's constructive criticism and not just blatant harshness which is not needed constructive criticism is always good because it helps you to grow um, thanks all for watching again have any questions let me know concerns let me know any requests please let me know and I thank you all for watching and have a good day bye